Hey, what's up everybody? Um, just doing an update video. I haven't really posted anything uh, since I sold my Accord. I think that my last video was me selling some of the parts. I was trying to sell some of the parts, sold most of it, but. Um, but anyways, earlier this year, I did buy a ninth gen Civic Si. Um, got a pretty good deal at the time. Now it's probably not a great, a great deal anyways, but um, bought this thing with about 20,000 miles on it. And um, did a couple things here and there, changed like a lot of lights to LED lights, uh, 6Ks. Um, then I started to, you know, got some coilovers, got the Godspeed uh, Mono Max coilovers. Uh, didn't drop it that low. It's probably like a two finger gap, or maybe one and a, uh, about one and a half finger gap. Um, what else did I do? Uh, tinted the windows. Um, that's about it. Uh, did a couple of suspension braces, but the, the major thing that I did um, recently, I did install a supercharger kit, the Merc Racing 1900, uh, TVS 1900 supercharger. Uh, I did see a lot of people, they run the uh, M62 Eaton or, you know, the old Comtech or the Jackson Racing. Um, I think it was more Comtech. And a couple people running the 900s and quite a few people running the 1320. I didn't really see much, many people run the 1900 and there was also a 2300. But I did contact Merck and they were just telling me that the 1900 will probably fit better. So I decided to go with the 1900. Um, but after after that... You know, I thought, damn, I should have went with the 2300 because we still had to modify a couple things. But I think with the new kit, everything fits perfectly. Um, this, like I said, this is going to be a quick video. Let me actually pop the hood for you guys. Because with this kit, we did have to, you see the uh, 6K LEDs. Let me get the prop. And there she is. Hold on. So there it is, 1900. So with the 1900, I think Merck went with the Haro um, supercharger kit or supercharger. It's a different design. I think it's a little bit narrower and it actually will fit underneath here a lot better. Here you had to bend this subframe cross brace, whatever you call it, just a little up just to fit it. But other than that, um, everything else is stock. I did put a uh, downpipe in it, a full race three inch downpipe. Um, Stock intake, I do want to get rid of that because um, you could barely hear the supercharger whine with the stock intake. I was quite surprised. So what I'm planning on doing is getting rid of the box, everything connected to it, and probably just having the filter or the intake come down here a little bit um, just to, I guess, possibly get some little bit more cold, uh, cold air. But um, that's it. I'll give you guys a detailed description of the car later. I just wanted to do a quick video just to give an update, um, I am going to do a couple pulls. Uh, we'll do, um, I guess, a lot of people did have a lot of questions about this kit. Um, and I guess I'll just round up a lot of questions and see if I could answer most of y'all questions um, in the next video or something like that. But I do have a couple future plans. Uh, oh yeah, I also actually did have a bigger pull. Actually, I'll wait for another video. I'll give you guys detail about the kit. Um, but I did have to upgrade the clutch. Can't use the OEM clutch. A lot of people use the OEM clutch on the Kraftworks, and it seems that people can because the download torque uh, is just non-existent if you go with the Kraft, Kraftworks. It basically, everything's on the top end, and um, I think I posted, uh, I don't remember if I did. Uh, th there's a graph of a Kraftworks. If you guys just Google it, Google a Kraftworks Supercharger 9th Gen, and look at the dyno graph, and then I posted my dyno graph on my Instagram. I will actually probably post it here later on another video, but you get to see how the torque curve is just so much different. 
and like I said, with the OEM clutch on the Craftsworks, it works well well enough because you get no down download torque. Everything's top end, and I guess it's able to hold it. I have no idea, but with this the OEM clutch, I was pushing. I think at pre VTEC, my tuner was saying at like 3,000, 3,500 RPM, we were pushing 290 wheel torque, and you know that just the clutch couldn't hold onto it. So, but like I said, wait for. You know, I'll have another video explaining everything. This is just a quick overview of my car. And uh, stay tuned.